Hi guys, today I'm going to give you my 10 tips for using social media to promote your brand. Obviously I will be focusing on promoting your own book or your author tubes, but these tips could be used to promote anything that you guys are doing right now. Number one, create curiosity and engagement. This can be as simple as using hooks in your title. It can also be making sure you engage when someone comments on your videos or on your pictures, write back, ask people questions in your tags. Get your audience involved and create intrigue by leaving questions open-ended. Number two, current events. In marketing, all different businesses use current events to advertise their own things. So use what's going on in the world right now in your videos or in your posts to get people engaged with current events. This doesn't mean you have to talk about the current events or that you have to become a news reporter on your channels. It just means talk about them or involve them in your content. Number three, quality, not quantity. So the ideal is to post a video once a week and on Instagram and Facebook is to post up to three times a day. This is a lot to post, but if you post one bad video or one bad picture, then you will lose audience. So although quantity can help you to get bigger faster, if you're not producing quality content, then why would people come back? You want your audience to trust you and to come back to you every time. Number four, promote others. Do not just use your pages to advertise yourself. You should promote other people in your field or give someone useful advice or useful information. Your audience should feel they are getting something from you. So they give to you and you give to them. Number five, choose a profile picture with intrigue. So your profile picture is going to be tiny. It's that little circle or square that you see on all these different profiles. You need it to catch your audience's eye. This could be by using color. It could be by being bold or even being smaller by making the audience look closer to see what it is. It's up to you. I'm not a designer, but try it out and see which works best for you and your audience. Number six, network. Talk to other people in your field. Watch other people's videos, like other people's photos, talk to them, get involved. Not only does this mean that you will learn from them, but also that you can help each other out. You can spread each other's news. You can write blogs on each other's pages. Networking with people is not only good for you to learn and to improve, but it's good for you socially and you can help each other out. Number seven, regularity. So some of my favorite YouTubers, I know exactly what day they will post and normally about what time their videos will come out. This means that every week I can schedule that I'm going to watch their video into my daily routines. Choose a schedule for your videos and stick to it, i.e. mine always come out on Wednesdays with a few bonuses on a Monday. Anyone who follows my channel, this is my routine, you guys might know it. It helps you to know when they're coming out. Number eight, choose three definitive things about you and your channel or you and your product. So for example, at the top of my YouTube header, it says writing tips, unboxing and vlogger. These are the three things that my YouTube channel will focus on. Choose three things about your channel which make it yours, that an audience can guarantee what is coming. A really good example of this is Jen Moresi, which is writing books, author and cyborg, because she refers to herself as a cyborg. Number nine, post timings. This sounds strange, but think about the footfall of the internet. So the busiest times I have found where people will scroll through their phones and look at Instagram and Facebook is at 8 a.m., 12 p.m. and 5 p.m. So generally when they're on the bus or public transport going to work, when they're on their lunch break and when they are coming home. If you target specific times, then you will generally get more footfall on your websites and pages. And number 10. Don't overstretch. Choose one or two sites that you're going to focus all your efforts on and stick to those. You can branch out eventually as you get better or as you get used to that profile, but don't overstretch. This will ultimately just mean that what you produce isn't as good. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other tips that would be useful to the other watchers of this video, please comment down below. I'd love to see them and it's always good to get new ideas. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. If you want to see as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell down below. If you want to see these tips in written format, they are on two websites. You can go to my friend Crystal Revis' website, the link is below this video, where part one is, and then the second part is on my own website. You can also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, or Tumblr. I post general bookish pictures, as well as my writing tips on there. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!